Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm super excited not only to share with you my top 10 nation designer picks for spring, but also my 15,000 subscriber celebration giveaway. Yes! So before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community and let's get into this. So I'm going to share the giveaway with you guys first, kind of some of the details, uh, what the giveaway is, all of that kind of stuff. So when I hit 15,000 subscribers, I knew that I wanted to do some sort of giveaway. And the company that I instantly wanted to work with and see if they would partner with me was Experimental Perfume Club. So I reached out to them and they graciously agreed. Now the reason why I love Experimental Perfume Club is first of all, they have a few of my favorite fragrances. So I just absolutely love them, like love them. And I wanted to share my love with you. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to reach out to them. But I also just really appreciate their take on fragrance. So a lot of times in perfumery, I find that it can be a little bit elitist in a sense, as far as, you know, well, you can't really create a fragrance unless you're trained and all of this kind of stuff. Experimental Perfume Club, to me, is one of those companies that's trying to bridge the gap and allow the consumer or the average person to experiment with perfumery, which I think is so cool. You, they have a ton of education tools that you can take part in. They've got, I think, courses that you can take. They also have kits that you can purchase that are single note kits. So there's lots of different things like that. So if you're wanting to experiment with perfumery or just learn more about it, it's an excellent website to check out. Plus, their fragrances are kind of cool, like their take on fragrances need. I'll leave their website link down below so that you can take a look at uh, what they're all about. The other thing that I really like about them is that they have a refill. So their bottles are 50 mils, but they sell a 100 mil refill as well. So super cool company. I really appreciate how gracious and kind they are. I just love them and I want to share that love with you. This is also celebrating the UK National Fragrance Week which is March 18th to the 24th. So this is a party both ways. It's Fragrance Week in the UK and I wanna celebrate that and I wanna celebrate us as a community by doing this giveaway. I'm gonna share with you the details, but then you can also just go and look in the description box and all the details will be there. Now, unfortunately, there's, they can't ship everywhere. So they can ship to US, Canada, UK, and Europe, excluding Spain, Italy, Norway, and Sweden. And it's just because of the custom laws there. The other thing is, is that depending on your customs, like the perfume's free, but you would have to pay duties if duties apply in your country. So every country is different, but it is possible that the, there would be duties those you would have to pay for. If you want to enter the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to me on this channel. You can also follow me on Instagram if you like, but that's not necessary for this giveaway. So you have to be subscribed to me here and you have to follow Experimental Perfume Club on Instagram. I'll have all the information linked down below. If you wanna be included in the giveaway draw, besides subscribing to me and following Experimental Perfume Club, you just have to put in the comments, I love fragrance. And then I know that you wanna be entered into the draw. The cutoff is March 28th at 6 p.m. my time. And then I will announce the winner on Sunday's video, March 31st. So I'll announce the winner verbally and then I will put it on my community page. You will not get some special message. So if you get any sort of a, a, a message or a comment or a reply, on uh, in the comments, that's not from me. So the only place you'll hear it is my voice telling who the winner is on the 31st or uh, on my community page, I'll, I'll put a, a short, I'll also put it on Instagram and say who the winner is. So good luck to you all. Now the fragrance that you'll be receiving is Sable Le Cri. Um, this is my favorite fragrance, like I love it. It's elegant. It's understated. This is so rich and delicious. It's got some spiciness in it. It's got cinnamon and tobacco and moss and sandalwood. There's so much going on here. 
but it just smells so sophisticated. So this is pretty much my favorite fragrance right now. I would say that it is number one in my collection, although I do think that it's better in the fall and winter, but I really wanted this to be the giveaway fragrance, uh, even though we're headed into spring, simply because I love it so much and I want one of you to be able to experience it. So thank you to all of you for supporting this channel the way you have. I'm just so, so grateful for your encouragement, the way you engage in the channel, the way you engage as a community. I feel so blessed to have so many positive, amazing men and women part of this channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to Experimental Perfume Club. Ah, go check out their website. Like I said, everything will be linked down below plus the details. So yeah, that's it. Good luck, I'll announce the winner on March 31st. So spring has almost sprung, so it's definitely warming up here. I know in lots of places around the world, it is really warm and you guys are getting blossoms. I wanted to share my top 10 spring picks for you, and this is designer and niche. I'm gonna do a separate Middle Eastern one in the next week or so. The first one that, that I wanna share with you, being that I was talking about Experimental Perfume Club, is Rose Rhubarb by EPC. The two notes that stand out the most are the rose and the rhubarb. The rose is a majorly jammy rose, which I absolutely love. And then the rhubarb is definitely tart. And I am a huge fan of rhubarb and fragrance. So something like the Hermes something Eclat rhubarb, whatever, uh, I can't remember it. I'll have a picture here. But um, that one I really, really enjoy, but the longevity isn't great. This one has rose, so it's not just straight rhubarb. This one has rose in it, so it's a little bit more floral than something like that. But that rhubarb note really, really stands out, and it's kind of a little bit tart, a little bit like pucker tart, but not sour, if that makes sense. It's a very sweet tart. When I was a kid, my, my grandmother had this huge rhubarb plant and we would go outside and we would pick one of those rhubarb stalks, cut off the leaves in the end, and then she would give us a little bowl of sugar and we would just stick the rhubarb in the, like suck the rhubarb, stick it in the sugar so it would get coated in sugar and then we'd like chew on it and I loved that so that sweet tart combination I, I just I just I've always loved it this also has peony black currant leaf and musk I don't really get the muskiness so much I don't really get the black currant leaf either although it may contribute to a slight little bit of greenness that's in this, but I definitely get the peony feel. So the rose is so jammy and sweet that it makes sense that there's peony in this. Peony and rose are two of my favorite florals. Like I just find them so romantic, so feminine and just absolutely gorgeous. So what I love about this one is that it's got that rose, it's very fluffy slash jammy, but that rhubarb kind of tempers the sweetness and just kind of balances out the composition. This is perfect for spring and summer. And what I love about it is that it lasts a really decent amount of time on the skin, like about seven hours, and the projection is fantastic as well. Have you sniffed it? If not, you should, you should. Thinking about a peony slash rose feel Edol Nectar. For spring, this one is so fantastic. It's jubilant, it's happy, it's energizing. And look at this bottle, like this bottle is an Easter bottle. Like I love it. So this fragrance has a lot of rose in it, but the rose again feels quite jammy. So it makes me think of peony every time. So there's no peony in this one that I know of. Uh, this one has popcorn, caramel, and vanilla in it. And I don't really get any of that popcorn until the deep, deep dry down. So like four hours in, just a slight bit of it, I wouldn't even say, like, I wouldn't think popcorn. I know popcorn's in here, so I can pick it out. It just kind of grounds it. It brings a little bit of earthiness, almost, to this in that dry down. It's sweet, it's feminine, it's fun, and I always get a compliment when I wear this. So Edole Nectar, love it for spring. Next fragrance that I was so excited to pull out is Love at First Sight 
by Un Nui Nomad. I took a risk with this one because it has lilac in it and I've never really enjoyed lilac. Like when I smell it, I just always found it quite thick and cloying and so, so sweet. But in here, it's absolutely gorgeous. So one of the things that I love about Unui Nomad fragrances is that they feel kind of light and airy somehow. Even when the notes have the potential to feel thick, they don't. They always feel so light and fresh somehow. I know Issey Miyake has a lilac fragrance out. It was one that I couldn't handle. So I smelt that and I'm like, it's kind of pretty, but it, I would just find it too thick and cloying on the skin. This is perfect. What balances out the lilac is a passion fruit note. That passion fruit smells just slightly tart again, but quite sweet, fruity, bright. So it kind of elevates that lilac and instead of it being thick and sweet and sticky, it's somehow tart and bright and energizing. Very, very feminine. And then it also has acacia and ambroxan. I find this to be just slightly green, like a hint of green in with that lilac. So it must be the passion fruit aspect. I just think it's stunning. Like it's a stunningly gorgeous fragrance. This is listed as a unisex fragrance, but I find it feminine leaning. This is such a beautiful spring fragrance. So when I smell this, I think walking through a garden and then all of a sudden you get this light waft of lilac on the air. And then you've got some sort of passion fruit dessert that you're eating. Like that's kind of the feel. It's so beautifully blended. And to be honest, I have nothing like it in my collection. Like it's very, very unique. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more unique that you haven't necessarily smelt, you might want to check this out because it's just a stunner. Next perfume that's perfect for spring is Le Vie Belle Le Clat. There's lots of Le Vie Belle flankers out there. I love Le Vie Belle en Rose. I would say that's probably my favorite flanker, but this one is so perfect for spring. Le Clat has mandarin orange and bergamot in the opening. What I get is just a kind of juicy, bright, sweet fruit. So it doesn't register to me as particularly citrus probably because the orange blossom in here is very, very sweet. In the base, it has vanilla, sandalwood, and patchouli. I don't really ever notice that. I do, do notice a bit of that patchouli. As far as florals are concerned, it has freesia, orange blossom, white flowers, iris, and jasmine sandback. Definitely, there's a powdery quality to this. This just smells like white florals with a little bit of fruitiness. Uh, like you'd have this huge bouquet and you walk into the room and you get a whiff of that beautiful, primarily orange blossom. That's what this is. But I think of like a white room, a powder room, that kind of thing. And it does, there is definitely a powdery feel in this. It's very, very feminine, very soft. Sometimes the Olivier Bells can be really bombastic and kind of in your face. I would say that this is probably the classiest version of La Vie Belle, plus this bottle is just so gorgeous. Next spring fragrance that I'm so pumped about is Benjoin en Fleur. Now this is by Claudio Zucca, and I love this fragrance. It smells kind of like bubblegum shampoo. There's a cleanness in this, definitely, but it smells like bubblegum. I don't, I don't get it. So yeah, I think of bubblegum sh shampoo, but classy bubblegum shampoo. If, if bubblegum could ever be classy, it would be in this. It has red fruits, blueberry, cherry, apple, and bergamot. So lots of fruits. The florals are ylang ylang, jasmine, frangipani, champaca, heliotrope, orange blossom, and vanilla. So tons of florals, tons of fruits. I don't get that. Like I, what I get is a very clean bubble gum, but it smells classy. It's, it's a cool fragrance. Like I really, really enjoy this one. It's kind of playful, but it still remains classy somehow. So I love this fragrance. It smells clean. It smells fresh. It's not too much. This would be a great fragrance for office. Actually, Le Clat would be too. Actually, all of these would work in the office, but this one in particular, to me, it just smells clean and sweet. 
So love this fragrance, but not too sweet. So it's, it's, it's gorgeous. And something about this fragrance makes me feel relaxed. So really enjoy it. The next one that is perfect for spring is Floral Street's Wonderland Peony. Now I've had this in my collection for quite some time. It just, it smells so pretty. There's guava, there's peony, there's raspberry, there's cotton candy. There's lots of other things in here, but those are the primary stars in this fragrance. It smells happy. So when I put this fragrance on, I think about being in a musical every time, like some sort of happy scene. Like if you've ever watched Enchanted, uh, all of a sudden they're in a park and everybody is singing and dancing. That's what this fragrance makes me think of every time. It's just jubilant. That guava is mouthwatering. The raspberry definitely comes through. The cotton candy keeps it sweet and fluffy. And then in the base, you get cedar and vetiver, which kind of helps ground it. So I, I thoroughly enjoy wearing this fragrance. It doesn't last uber long, but about five, six hours. It's just fun and it projects really, really well. So this one is absolutely perfect. When you wanna be put in a great mood, this one is awesome. Next spring fragrance is I Am Beautiful by Theodoro Calutini. This is a very simple fragrance of cranberry, patchouli, rose, and amber. I'm a real major cranberry fan. And this, the cranberry note is perfect. So it smells I mentioned this before, it smells like this shower gel and lotion set that I had from the body shop years and years ago. I think it was something Cranberry Joy. This has a similar smell. I just love the cranberry in here. There's a hint of green in here, uh, which I'm, I'm assuming comes from, from the patchouli. I don't find that the patchouli feels heavy or thick. It just adds a bit of freshness somehow to this. So this is cranberry and rose. This is rhubarb and rose, cranberry and rose. Basically, I'm a huge rose fan. The whole idea of a, uh, of a tart fruit balancing out kind of a more jammy rose. This one's a little bit greener, I would say, than something like a rhubarb rose, but I really, really enjoy this one. The longevity is moderate, so about five hours on this one. It feels very calming to me. So when I put it on, some fragrances feel sparkling and energetic. Other ones feel grounding and calming. This is a grounding, calming fragrance for me. So I really, really enjoy it. And I love the name. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. You are beautiful. We are beautiful. I love it. Next fragrance that I am so excited to wear this spring, and it is Devotion by Dolce & Gabbana. This was a fragrance that I was definitely excited to get because it was, to me, one of the best designer releases of 2023. This fragrance has an absolutely beautiful candied lemon note in the opening. My mouth is watering. It also has panna cotta and rum in it and some orange blossom. I definitely get the floral in this, but as it dries down, it starts to smell like some sort of lemon, almost like a lemon creme brulee somehow. That's the feel that I get. And then the dry down of this is vanilla. So essentially it's a lemon vanilla where Lyra is a little bit too much for spring and summer. Like you could certainly wear, wear what you want, but I tend to reserve that one for fall and winter. This would be a great version for spring and summer. Plus it's got the florals in. So I love Acro Bake. That one is more of a lemon puff pastry feel. Whereas this one, it's like a lemon orange blossom creme brulee is the feel that I get from this fragrance. So very, very pretty. There's a slight powdery quality uh, in this as well, which I think comes from the orange blossom, but it's a perfect kind of lemony vanilla for warmer weather. So love, love, love this fragrance. Have you tried it? Have you tried it yet? If you have, tell me what you think. I've got two fragrances left for you. Both are so amazing. The first is by Bozo Paris, Habibi. This is like the elixir of the gods. Now this definitely is a greener fragrance. So it's not bright green, like something like a verbena that feels really, really quite citrusy green. But this has like green, like you know how if you smell a green leaf, that's kind of the feel. Um, it feels a little bit dewy. 
Uh, it has cherry and almond, and there's some red currant leaf in there, which also kind of adds to that green feel. This is such a refreshing, delicious cherry almond. So when I think cherry almond, I think thick, I think rich, I think winter and fall. This makes cherry and almond work in the spring and summer. It's absolutely beautiful. It's very cool feeling very, very sophisticated. This would be a fragrance that I would see like a royal wearing to some sort of day engagement. This would be perfect. Understated, very classy, sophisticated, sweet, and absolutely elegant. So love it. If you're a cherry lover, you definitely, definitely need to try this. This is just absolutely a stunning fragrance. Now the last fragrance is the one that I would probably say I'm most excited about. I'm I'm actually obsessed with this fragrance right now and I'm so excited to have this in my collection and it is Mallow by Soradora. This was gifted to me. Now as I said before, I try the fragrances and then I ask like for the ones that I like. So these are all fragrances that I have chosen, but they were gifted to me. Now, first of all, I love the fact that the Soradora sign is pink this time and Mallow is written in pink. And I don't know why, but that just really made me happy. This has many different notes, but what really stands out about this one is definitely the orange blossom, the violet, and the raspberry. It is so gorgeous. Like I smell this and I'm in heaven and I cannot believe it. I was never... A violet fan. I don't like Encelance, but this with the raspberry in there feels a little bit marshmallowy. There's powderiness in it. It's delightful. It's so delightful that I put it on. I had to go to this function. I put it on and I start driving in the car and I'm basically like sniffing myself, like just felt so good. Like seriously, I was so in love with myself. I've always been a huge Sound of Music fan. And so all of a sudden I literally in the car, no word of a lie, burst into song and it was this. The house is alive with the scent of my Marshmallow delight and some raspberry. I smell so good that I don't know what to do. So It. I'm wearing it today. I, uh, I'm so freaking in love with this fragrance. It smells like fairies. Like I, I, I want, I want to live in the land of Mallow. I just love it. I love Janny, but I love this one more. And a lot of people say that it reminds them, I got too much on. Oh, <laughs> this one's potent too. I've, <laughs> I got it in my mouth. I got it everywhere. Why do I do that to myself? Anyway, I, I, I love this fragrance so much. I've had tons of people say, oh, it smells like Oriana. It smells like love. Don't be shy. To me, this is the one to beat. So I, I enjoy those other fragrances, but this one, because of the raspberry, and I'm such a raspberry fan, and the violet, that violet just stands out to me, and it's the most stellar, amazing thing I have ever smelt. So I am, I am gaga over this fragrance right now. So that is it. Those are my top 10 spring fragrances. What about you? What are you excited to wear this spring? All the details for the giveaway will be linked down below in the description box. And thank you to Experimental Perfume Club for being willing to partner with me in this giveaway. I'm really glad to be able to do a giveaway and I wouldn't actually be able to do it without the help of Experimental Perfume Club. So thank you so much. And other than that, are you 
you excited about spring? What is your number one? What is the one that you're just so pumped about? Leave it in the comments. What is the one that makes you break into song? Leave it in the comments. And other than that, have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.